Hey there, it's Marshawn Evans, and as you can see, I am in full exercise gear and attire walking around my neighborhood. Um, many of you know that we are about to start the seven day Focus Me refresher. It's the second quarter, and it's so important to me that we get focused, that we hear really what God has for us. And part of the seven day challenge involves exercise. And so I have a challenge everyone who's participating to walk the same route for seven days, which signifies the seven days that it took to bring down the walls of Jericho so that we can bring down some of the barriers that inhibit us in our own life. But I was thinking as I'm doing my walk right now, how important it is for us to be spiritually fit, not just physically fit. And I was thinking about those letters FIT, you know I love acronyms. So I was thinking about the letters FIT and what that really signifies, and the F stands for focus. So important for us to be in tune with what God has for us in this season and what he has for you in this season. But just like getting physically fit requires you to focus on a specific exercise regimen, you've got to be able to focus on the regimen that God has for you in having a disciplined prayer life, to have a disciplined time that you set aside to really get serious. So that first F I hear a crying baby. <laughs> that first F is about getting focused on what God wants for you. So that's what we're doing with the seven day challenge. And then the second letter I stands for involvement. I was telling, I was listening to God and he was just saying how important it is for us to get involved with his plan. Because you know, you can work with a trainer and the trainer can give you the resources that you need, but you still have to do what he says. Otherwise, you have the information but you just become a hearer of the word and not a doer of the word. And the Bible says when you do that, you deceive yourself. So we have to get involved in the things that God has given us and designed for us and laid out for us. So when we're focused, where we're involved, that last T, the last letter T stands for transformation. When we allow him to do what he does best, which is to change our hearts, um, we see more fitness in our lives. We see healthier relationships. We see healthier outcomes in our professional relationships, in our financial life. So transformation occurs, but only after we've been focused, we've been involved, and then he's the one who does the work of transformation. What usually happens, I'm going to stop for a second. What usually happens is that we try to skip to transformation. We try to skip past being focused because that takes a lot of discipline. We try to skip past the involvement part because that takes a lot of effort. You can see I'm already a little bit out of breath and we try to skip right to transformation. But the thing we have to remember as human beings is that transformation is God's work. That he's the one who can change the heart, but he requires our commitment. That's the focus part. And he requires our consistency. That's the involvement. And then what results in terms of transformation is a change that he can produce in our life. So keep that in mind. FIT is extremely important that you have a fit physical life, but also that we have a fit spiritual life. Now, if you know somebody else who needs a dose of inspiration, needs some advice and tips on how they can have a more fit spiritual life as well, forward this message. And if you're still interested in joining us for the seven day Focus Me Challenge, just go to MarshawnEvans.com register. It's going to be an amazing time. I'm looking forward to it. The best is within you. I'm just looking forward to helping you make sure that it manifests through you. God bless you. I'm going to keep my fitness regimen up. Take care. Till next time.